Welcome to this video series called Web Automation with Lambda Test and PyTest. My name is Carlos Kidman and I'll be your guide as we create web automated tests using Python with PyTest and hook it up to Lambda Test which has lots of awesome features like reporting and logs, storing video recordings of our tests, and making cross-browser testing super easy. In this course, there are five modules. We're starting off with the course introduction, which is where you're at right now. Then we'll set up a Python project where we'll use VS Code to get a project ready for automation. We'll then write our UI tests where we'll create our first automated tests with Python and PyTest. Then we'll get those same tests and run them in parallel. And finally, cross-browser testing with Lambda Test where we'll run our tests across multiple OS's and browsers using Lambda Test. Alright, so what is Lambda Test? And why does it matter? Lambda Test is a cross-browser testing solution that is done entirely on the cloud. If you need to perform any human-centric or exploratory testing on a specific version of Windows or Mac, you can easily select the configuration and load your app in that environment. This also extends to automated testing, where we can write a single automated test and have it run against any number of operating systems and browsers to get the ultimate coverage of your application. This also includes mobile browsers. Say what? There's more features they provide, like geolocation testing and integrating with tools you're probably already using, so I'd highly recommend you check them out at lambdatest.com to find out more. However, we will be creating a free Lambda Test account in the last module, so you'll definitely get a taste of what it can do before the course is over. Now that we've talked about what Lambda Test is, now we can talk about why does it matter. Lambda Test solves a lot of problems that many of us face. First off, it solves the coverage problem. Without a solution like Lambda Test, you'd have to make sure all of the browsers are installed on your machine so you can test your application against each one. But if you're on a Mac and you need to test Internet Explorer, you have to get access to a Windows machine somehow. If you have an iPhone but you need to test against Android, you need to borrow someone else's phone or manage a device farm which many of us know is time consuming and frustrating. Lambda Test can spin up any OS and browser combination you need on the fly. So you can test what you want, against what you want, whenever you want. Which brings me to the next problem Lambda Test solves. Reproducing these environments. If there is only one Android device for the team to use, then only one person can test at a time. All that waiting is wasteful. Lambda Test can spin up as many instances as you need so your environment doesn't become a bottleneck anymore. Next up is the cross-browser problem in our automation. Time and time again, I see test automation frameworks that try to solve this problem on their own. They create a driver factory that tries to handle local and cloud executions, but it's not designed correctly and requires a lot of maintenance. In the end, it usually only works for Chrome and Firefox on desktops, and that's it. No mobile or Safari or anything else. With Lambda Test, you can extend your test automation to leverage all of the power and functionality that we've already discussed. So cross-browser testing, parallel executions, and more. All in all, this means that Lambda Test solves a lot of productivity problems because it already includes integrations, logging, reporting, recording, and more as part of its products and services. You wouldn't have to build this functionality from scratch and maintain it yourself. Instead, hook your framework to Lambda Test and get all of this functionality out of the box so you can focus on more important tasks. For me, that's one of the biggest reasons to use a tool like Lambda Test. And as you can see, in the end, that means that Lambda Test solves a lot of crap. I don't want to manage a device farm. That alone can be a full-time job and it's not fun at all. Give me Lambda Test instead so I can focus on design, testability, and just writing the tests instead. In the next video, we'll get a Python project created and VS Code configured so we can start writing Python code. I'll also provide resources that you can use throughout this course since we're going to be in code for the rest of it. Real quick, before we move to the next module, I want to let you know of a few things that are available to you. 
please feel free to share your thoughts on this video in the comments below. If you have any questions around Lambda Test, you can either drop an email to support at lambdatest.com or you could chat with one of their reps by pinging on their 24-7 chat support. Seriously, hit them up at any time with whatever questions you have and they'll answer. If you're ever stuck with anything around testing, development, CICD, or whatever, then feel free to drop them in the Lambda Test community here at community.lambdatest.com and they'll get your answers in no time. With that, I'll see you in the next video.